The only way to get through here is with a Collins 1945 machete. Legitimus, Collinimus, Disgustimus. The benefit of having a big old machete is they are heavy. But that's kind of the only way I'm going to get through here. And once I get over there to those pine trees, you'll see what I'm looking for. Okay, maybe I was mistaken. It's not here. I made my way through it all, though. Oh, there it is. Maybe. These are stick airs. Nobody likes stickers, do they? I mean, some people might, but I know I need to sharpen it. Okay, let's go. There it is, bird feeder. That has, that's not why I came. So now I gotta get through this. Okay, it wasn't there. Wrong spot. I thought there was bottles out here. But I can't find them. So what I need to do... I guess I'll go a little deeper. You make a wish and then hang a hanger up right there on these cedar post. I think my little rivets are loose. All right, let's just go deeper and look. I was kidding about the hangers. There was a home here. And I know the uh, owner who has passed and then those who own it now. What I'm trying to do is figure out something. This is, I knew I should have worn my wet feet. This is where the mosquitoes are coming from. As you can tell, it's been a while since someone lived here. So, We'll move back up to the main stomping grounds. I had to wipe your face off, sorry. When there's nothing in the woods, you go back to your base camp and you do this. Now I need somebody sitting right there so I can drive old blue and drag this thing through the fields and see if I can get the front end loosened up. I got the back end loose. Everything's taken apart and put back together. I completely removed the brakes from the rear end. There are no brakes, nothing. So, now if I can get the front end loosened up, then that'll take me having the front end loosened up. <laughs> you can kind of get an idea. These things are little. I always thought they were a lot bigger. I guess that's because every time you see them, they got monster tires on them. That is actually a one-ton truck. That is not, but she thinks she is. This is interesting, look. For the first time I pulled the uh, dew flotsies down. At 41,612 miles, if somebody put a new motor in it. High sure is low miles to put a motor in it. Or an engine, whatever you decide. They said they put a motor in it. That was 5.30, 1968. In 93, they did something, but that can't be correct on the mile, 655,162. No way. And right now, it's shown as 76,922 miles. That's probably right. Oh, the horn works. No. So what I did was come in here and what I'm doing is pulling all the, everything that's in here is made of cardboard. 
not everything, but like stuff like that. It's made of cardboard. And there must have been a light or something on the top. I don't know. Home, home. These are little stickers. Oh, that's a golf station sticker, isn't it? That little round with the blue. And then Esso. I remember Esso from when I was in Germany. I didn't know there were Esso stations in the United States of the Americas. So let's look at the top. Whoops, I'm about to fall through the floor. I try to plug it. Oops, I gotta get out. It's not so bad. Here's some dates. I'm about to pull around the field right now. This is just uh this is filler. This is filler footage. <laughs> just kidding. So let's think for a second. We had a new motor in 68, and this is a 1961 or a 62 the most. And the reason I know that is because any of them older than that had split windshields and five horizontal bars. <clears throat> This one has two. It should have three. And then an earlier model said five. That's what I've learned so far. I was pulling up. There are so many websites that talk about what type wheels will fit the old wheelies. And it, believe it or not, it's one of the easiest things I figured out. All CJs, from what I've read, the wheels were made so they were universal and will fit everything so these are CJ7 wheels and they fit perfectly all right time for round It rolls better than I thought it would. And the actual vehicle weight of it is 6,000 pounds. Not my tractor, but the Jeep. So I was driving all blue, and the bearded one was driving the Jeep. And I'll show you what happened. Let me get around here. It drug me sideways <laughs> that far. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was laughing. Oh, just laughing and laughing. We had to put brakes. We pushed the track with the Jeep back. We put brakes under the tires. Now I gotta give him a boost. Ready? Oh, we got a situation down here. There he goes. By yourself. You're not going very fast. This is where we need to hook it back up. That thing's silent, isn't it? Runs good. Now it's time for the truck. I'm about to take the bearded one for a ride. <laughs>
Free. Now we'll put a starter on it. Okay, we're gonna go live. I don't know if the uh, what happens and what blows out down there on the bottom on the transmission. There's a bunch of rat nests. Let's just see if I can close the hood now. Y'all yeah, just wait right there. Oh, it's gonna be too dark in there. Got dark in there, didn't it? 